Hello everyone, amateur virtual YouTuber Yunayo here, and today I'm going to be drawing the thumbnail for my next stream, which, by the way, uh, it's been rescheduled. I'm, uh, I, uh, it's gonna instead of being streamed at a 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, it's going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I, it might be later. The problem is I have an appointment uh, at that time, so. There's every possibility that it'll go on longer than than I think it will. So <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to f work that out, but unfortunately, it's uh difficult. So, uh what we are what we are doing right now. I got some background music by the way. Cat it's called catlife.mp3. It's pretty epic. Uh it's just pl I hope it's not too loud though. It's just playing in like in OBS, so I can't actually hear it. <laughs> we'll hope it's okay though. We'll just we'll, we'll gamble on it. Unfortunately, I'm not streaming, so I can't really say for sure. So let's 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 move myself over here, make myself smaller, so I'm not taking up too much space. Uh, there we go. So. Uh, if you guys are if you guys are wondering, the game that we're gonna be playing tomorrow is Attack on Titan 2, because uh, I recently got it, and so I'm pretty excited to play it. Actually, I'll be honest. I, I just all I've done so far is just load it up and make sure that it actually works. So we should be all all good to all good to go. So I'm thinking that um, for for the thumbnail. We just draw, uh, we, we draw myself in the Attack on Titan uniform, but I just need to decide on what pose I want to do. Uh, I'll probably be using a reference for this one. Mm. Okay. Right. I've, I've picked a pose. So now we need to make a new, uh, a new a new a new document 1280 by 720 so what we what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna I'm just gonna draw the actual thing here just in the middle and then move it as I need to oh gosh uh, Now let's make the guidelines. Mm, I kind of like this tilted slightly. So I'm real. I'm pretty excited to play Attack on Titan 2. Although I did have to push it back a little bit. I'm scared that I'm gonna be late for my next stream. <laughs> a little, just a little scared. Because sometimes things just happen, you know? But if all goes well, I should make it in time and be ready to stream by by 3.30, by 3.30 at the latest, I think. I hope. <laughs> let's, let's, let's draw a, a base. Let's draw the, like a rough sketch of the body and how we want it to. Ooh, I drew the chin on the wrong there. I mean, fix that. I'm just gonna draw over it because this one turned out pretty well. And then on layer two, we'll just go over it and erase what we need to. There we go, that, that ought to do it. So now I'm going to draw a rough body sketch. Um, I'm thinking like, like, like this. Then this shoulder is a little bigger than this shoulder. Uh, then like the sword hand is pretty pretty big. I'm drawing the circles bigger to like emphasize the size of them, you know. And this one kind of like goes behind here like this, and it's also holding one of the swords. Uh. 
I'm using a ref, a uh, reference for this, by the way. I'm not making this post by myself. I'm not that good. I don't know proportions that well. I'll be honest. Hmm. That looks a little awkward. I'm I'm like pretty tempted. Uh, maybe. Hmm. What if I did like a simpler pose, like just like Unio standing, you know, like like from the sh from like shoulders up, like a shoulders up type thing. front angle the classic the one that I actually kind of know how to draw I say that <laughs> and yet uh, I say that and yet good enough drawing art is hard you guys so now what if we draw me saluting with the attack on titan salute you know like the classic like one arm behind the back and then one arm in the in the front this can just be a rough body sketch it's and i know i say that every time and it kind of just feels like a cop out uh and it is <laughs> if i'm being honest that's okay then we you know draw the fist that's not what it's gonna look like that's just kind of basis for it Here we go. Uh, something like that, I'm thinking, right? <laughs> but that doesn't look very good. Oh, man. Now I'm kind of scared that this video isn't going to turn out well and I'm going to end up scrapping it. I think I need a, a pose reference. I'm bad at drawing without references, and I'm only decent at drawing with references. <laughs> Uh, attack on Titan salute let's see oh I drew it with the wrong hand as well Keith Shadis would would kill me okay I got a I got a pretty pretty coolio reference let's try this once more. How do you art? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand you guys. Hmm. I'm very upset. Not very upset, mildly upset. That'll do. Right? Will that work? <laughs> Mr. Mediocre Art over here. Hmm. 
It's hot in my room. Hang on, give me a sec. Give me a sec to turn on a fan. Okay, sorry. Got a, got, got a, got a thing. Got a fan going now. There we go. I feel like that looks a lot better now that I've drawn it with a reference. Still doesn't look great, but <laughs> that's that's okay. I think the shoulders are like different sizes. So I gotta fix that. Why don't I do that now? While I'm here, and I just kind of like push it in a little bit. There we go. That it's kind of like that old blue. <laughs> Hmm. I have a feeling. If we move this down a little bit, how how would that how would that work out? Let's let's see, let's see. We'll give it a go. Let's draw on the face and see how this works. Remember, draw the eyes step by step. Don't draw one eye all the way and then draw the other eye. Draw them each step by step like this so that you can make sure that they're even, or at, or at least mostly even. <laughs> I look kind of scary. Hmm, yeah, I'll, I don't think it works. Let's, let's, let's change that. See, but I, I, I do feel like the face is a little too long. Maybe I just like pushed it down too much. Like push it down a, a, like a little bit or something. Let's, let's give this a try. I meant to draw the other eye. I forgot though. Uh, art is suffering. Art is art. It art really is. Art really, re really is suffering, you guys. How do you draw? How do you even? How do you do this, man? How do you do art? I hate it. Uh, man. What if I just like try and draw it with the face as it actually is, you know? Like if I just if I don't try to change it up at all and I just go along with it.
we'll work with it. For those who are new to the channel, I didn't draw my avatar. <laughs> if you're wondering why my art looks so much worse than my avatar, it's because someone else drew my avatar. Thank you to DeadX Inside Art on Twitter and Reddit for drawing and animating my avatar. <laughs> Why do I look so smug? The smug energy. The smug aura is mocking me and I'm the one who drew it. Anyways, we're drawing the heron now. The hair really helps my drawings actually look like me. Because I feel like if it weren't for the hair and the hat, it wouldn't really look like me at all. Cause those are like my my those are like my two defining features. <laughs> my hair and my hat. That looks all right. We'll rock with that. We'll rock and roll with this. Let's erase the little bits of the chin that are extra. There we go. And then the body. Uh, because this looks stupid. <laughs> it looks a little dumb. So instead, let's redraw over it. Set the opacity to low, get on a new layer. And with a, with a careful brush with stabilization set as high as it can go, we'll start, we'll start drawing. Okay, that's not bad. I hope the music is, is somewhat relaxing during the bouts of silence where I try to focus on drawing. <laughs> drawing is difficult, you guys. And now, now, for the fun part, drawing the hand. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna make a new layer for this because it's not going to turn out well, I can tell you that much already. Uh, it's something, something kind of all hidden behind the thumb. Did it? Is it my imagination? Or did it not turn out too bad for my standards? I think it's my imagination. But... That works, right? Right? I think that works. That That's what we call good enough. So now we're gonna draw in the clothes and I'm gonna name this layer just so I can keep track of them all. <sighs> all right, it's tense. Now we're actually, we're actually doing a good drawing maybe. A big, big perhaps on whether or not we're doing a good drawing.
And then I got I see why everyone cosplayed Attack on Titan when it first came out. It's, the outfit is so cool. I love the outfit. It like goes down to about there, maybe? Hmm. I think it goes, yeah, it goes down to like roughly that area. As long as we get it close, we're okay. It's like... Uh, what what kind of shirt would Yuna Yo wear? Because it looks like in the Attack on Titan, in the military uniform, like, the jacket is standard, but, like, some people wear different shirts. Like, Aaron just kind of wears a t-shirt, and then Levi wears, like, the tall collar thing with the little handkerchief in the middle. Um, looks like a collared shirt is pretty standard and popular. Like, Connie wears a t-shirt. I'm scrolling through references right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> hmm. Um, I get. I mean, a t-shirt would be the easy one, right? But how cool would a second collar shirt be under the collar? Maybe like a full button collar shirt, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like fully buttoned up collared shirt. There. Look, that's that's me. I'm I'm now a part of Attack on Titan. Yeah, if you didn't know, Attack on Titan 2 actually has you playing as a self-insert character. Like your character is uh it's it's a player created character. And it's kind of interesting because they are brutally overpowered. I <laughs> Like in 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 canon, Levi kills like I think 89 titans in his career. Your character kills that many in like two missions. <laughs> mm. And then there are like some little like belts that are going around, I assume for like harnesses and such. So let's add those in. belt buckle here that'll do there's one and then there's like something that goes like down here and that's weird like branches off like that yeah kind of like that and then for the insignia, it goes like here. Uh, that's a little small. I don't think I can put the insignia on there. <laughs> Whoops. Let's draw in some details on the clothing. And I, I think that'll be that'll be good. It's a little plain, but I think we can start coloring now. At some point, I was kind of tempted to just plaster the face of my avatar, my live 2D avatar, onto a t an Attack on Titan character. But that would have been kind of lame. So instead we get full Unio drawing. With all of the mistakes that come alongside it. 
I am like not at all confident in my art. Um, but one day I'll become more confident in my art, you know? I'm not saying that day is today. Hardly, it's not today at all. I can confirm that with 100% confidence that it's not today. But one day I'll, I will become confident. And when that day comes, I'll look back on this day and be probably really annoyed with myself for all the art mistakes that I make. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully one day I actually do become good at art. I can look back on it and say like, man, I was bad at art. <laughs> I'm hoping, at least. Get the hair colored. I won't have the shading be too detailed. It'll be pretty basic. The color of my hair is like, you know, dark blue, almost, almost black. That's a little too bright. Uh, close. Kind of like that. Definitely missing some highlights, but you know, whatever. <laughs> then let's color in the back of the hair with a little bit of darker blue. Uh, okay. Now on to the hat. Man, my drawing videos are pretty boring. <laughs> it's kind of just me commentating on what I'm doing. I feel like I need to do better at these. Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of difficult. There's a lot that I don't really understand about art. Like, I don't really get color theory. I don't really, uh... I don't know. I just don't get it. <laughs> Good artists are really impressive for me just because I don't understand art very much. So bucket tool is no good. There we go. This is a slow process, but we can just fill in the little eye thing by hand. And then the eyes, which are light pink. Actually, they're kind of like a brighter pink. Closer to like reddish pink, you know? Maybe we should add some pupils. There we go. That's good. And then from here, we're actually coloring from pure Attack on Titan color palettes. So we should be good to just look at references. As far as the shirt, 
and also the eyes they're just gonna be it's gonna be white the eyes are gonna be pure white and the shirt is probably gonna be uh almost pure white because fun fact pure white barely ever exists in real life i don't think it does exist in real life actually i think everything that you see will be a something not pure white <laughs> Let's color in the collars first and make them like a little dark white for, for shading purposes, of course. Then color in the rest of the shirt, which will be much closer to pure white. Comparatively closer to pure white. That is not close to pure white. Um, it's kind of like grayish. Okay, this is 244 by 244 by 244 on the RGB. And that looks like it'll do. So now the jacket, which is like a light brown, tannish kind of thing. Let's choose this color and see how it goes. First, we must select. There's a train outside of my room. Somewhere outside of my room, probably pretty far away. That's actually pretty much what we need. Okay. Let's color in the hand while we're down here. What is the, what color is the belt thing? It's like brown and silver, right? Good enough. You know, you know this color palette actually fits like decently with the Attack on Titan color palette. Especially the hat. The weird thing is that like not many like unnaturally hair colored people in uh, it exist in attack on titan like most uh, most unrealistic hair color is like white when it's on rico uh which is actually pretty cool the character designs are, of attack on titan are interesting in the way that like they're not like conventionally like moe attractive and like the reason that people are attracted to most characters aren't for appearance it's for how they act uh except for krista and mikasa that's the exceptions <laughs> Like, a lot of the characters aren't, like, explicitly attractive in, like, an anime sense. They're just kind of, like, actual, like, they're, they're, more, they're more attractive in, like, a real-life sense, you know? Because the characters have, like, imperfections in them. Like, subtle imperfections. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, we're done with the coloring. Now let's make the rest of the thumbnail. On each thumbnail that I have, I have, like, a little... Uh, border that goes on top of everything and the way that I the way that I do the border first of all I'm going to deselect all this I'm going to what I do for the border is I use a selection and then I just invert the selection and bucket tool the border 
And for that border, I usually choose light pink. Uh, that looks good. Whoops. That color. Uh, now let's see. For, for the background, I guess just like an image of the Attack on Titan game, right? Attack on Titan 2. Ooh, this is like pretty perfect. I'm looking for a good one though. Mm, like one where the text won't really get in the way. Uh, but unfortunately, doesn't look like I've got much of that going on here. Oh well, whatever. And then widen it out. Uh, that will do, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll put it under the Unio layer. Maybe if we move you know, you know, over a bit over here, it'll work. Yeah, that, that'll that do, I think. Attack on Titan. Am I blocking the number two? I am. Um, dang, no matter what, I just block the shot. <laughs> I think it should be okay if I'm blocking the two, right? Too. I wish that the, the, the text was on top, man. Let me see if I can find a better one, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking around. Uh, I just want, like, a big image with the text at the top. Mm, wow. Well, I'm looking around. I'm not finding much. Unfortunately. Cause, cause there's like the Attack on Titan like DLC image and that has a text in the middle usually. Maybe if I can find one without the text. No, I don't think that'll do. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just use the Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle uh, image? If we like, copy paste that in, expand. Uh, that'll do, right? Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. And since this is a live stream, should I like, should I add like a live image like I did with the last one? May as well. We gotta fill in some space, right? Last time I used this one, I believe, if I copy paste it in here. That's a, that's a pretty big lie. Like this. I'm not a, I, I'm not a graphic design student. Maybe, maybe you put it in the middle. About there. That looks, I would say that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I could add to this. Hmm. Maybe some shading. Why don't I, why don't I try some shading? Just like, give it a good old try. First, let's get rid of every layer, except the Unio layer. And then what we're gonna do, is we are going to select everything except Unio and then reverse it. Then we're going to set up a new layer on top of the color layer and we're gonna call it shading. Here we go. In order to do this, I'm just gonna get a, a, a black brush and turn down the opacity. So now, Okay. 
Oh wait, well, you're not supposed to use black to shade, are you? That's right. Well, first, let's. Why don't we? Why don't we decide where the light source is coming from? Yeah. So, we'll say. We'll say that it's. I mean, it kind of has to be coming like straight on. I think. So yeah, it's gonna be straight on. So instead of that, let's shade with the colors that we are shading over. Shade them a little dark. Just add some shadows. Shading is, the shading isn't, uh, I mean, it's messy, <laughs> naturally. But I mean, that already looks a little better. Looks a little more like interesting now visually. Let's get some gray going down here. Uh, let's get some gray going behind here as well. Let's lower the brush size just a little bit. And shade in a bit here. And under this a little bit. Mm. Uh, I guess that the shading is a little inconsistent near the collar, so let me fix that up a little bit. There we go. That should make it okay. That look I think I feel like that looks that looks a little better, you know? It just it makes it look a little nicer. Uh, let's shade a little bit under the hat, eh? A little darker here. Uh, let's add a bit of highlights to the hair as well, actually. Kind of want to... Add some, turn the opacity up. Hmm. I'm not really sure how the highlights on hair works. All I know is that there's usually like a like a little line of highlights that goes up up and around. <laughs> it looks a little silly. Hmm. What if I just? Okay, thank you. I got a Chrome notification. Like, what if we just copy the highlights on my avatar, right? Got some darker blue down here. Uh, like this. Got some dark blue coming around the edges here. I think that looks that looks a little a little better. The shading is definitely weird. Don't get me wrong, but that looks a little better. <laughs> One day I'll actually learn how to shade. So there we go. That's our that's the thumbnail for the live stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully, <laughs> assuming that my appointment doesn't take too long, which I hope it doesn't. So, with that being said, I guess, uh, 
we do we do I call that an episode? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll save this. Save as. Uh. Guess that that'll that'll do it for the drawing then. <sighs> I'm excited to stream tomorrow. I uh, it was a bit of a struggle to make sure that uh, the Attack on Titan runs correctly with uh, OBS open, and I might have to make more adjustments, but hopefully it still works out. Apparently all Koei Tecmo games run terribly on computers unless you uh, s make a specific setting correct. Which it seems like I did, hopefully. So, uh, with that being said, I'm looking forward to the stream tomorrow. I'm gonna um, try and integrate chat in, and I'll probably put it in the in the lower left corner, right below the screen. Because I, I I thought about putting it in the upper left, like above my head, but I there's not really enough space, and I don't want to make myself too small, you know. Hmm. I mean, let me let me see how let me see how it would look if I size myself down. If I were like this size and I put and I put and I put like chat up above me hmm how how would that look part of me says that would actually be better uh you know what better yet why don't I just <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you guys while I'm live and we'll see which one you guys prefer if you prefer like down below the screen or or up above my head and that's how we'll do it. So, uh, even more reason to look forward to stream tomorrow. So, uh, with that being said, my name is, you know, I'm a virtual YouTuber. And I'm looking forward to the stream tomorrow. Just to clarify one more time, <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably set up a scheduled thing soon after this video goes up. Uh, it will be, unless something goes wrong. It will be on, uh, it will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you guys look forward to it. Thank you for watching.